Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to my channel. Today, uh, I'm going to create a um, short tutorial about uh, how to solve the continuous duplicates um, question in Python. So, given a array of integers, find if the array contains any duplicates. The function should re return true if there are at least twice um, out, uh, two of the same elements in the array, and it should return false if ever element is distinct. So example one, true, because there are two ones. Example two, false, because there are no duplicates. Example three, true, because there are like more than two um, same elements in the array, right? Um, so for this question, um, because we're checking whether some elements appeared uh, twice, so we can use the collection.counter.mostcommon method, and it should be really easy. I'm going to um, explain you later what it is, if you're in case you're not familiar with it, um, but let's first check some corner cases. So if um, it is an empty list, it should return false because there are no elements, so how can it have like duplicates, right? So if lens of nums, um, and if there's only one element, they can, there can be duplicates. So if num, lens of num is less than two, return false. So that's our corner cases. And we use the collections to counter module um, and passing nums. So collection the counter module, definitely check it up uh, if you're not familiar with it. Basically, it, it creates a dictionary out of um, the list, and the dictionary's keys are the uh, element and the number uh, and the values are the frequencies. So in this case, the dictionary um, is one comma two because one appeared twice, two comma one because two uh, appeared once, and three comma one because three also appeared once. Okay, so we create a dictionary from um, out of the nonce. Okay, so and d dot most common one. So d dot most common one basically um, returns a tuple of the most most common uh, words out of the dictionary. So if you say most common two, you will get the uh, number one and number two frequently appeared elements. In this case, we just need to check uh, the most frequent words, right? So as I said, it returns a tuple. So for the first element is the key. 